the Liberal Party and News Corp are inseparable. Right? Uh, you, you hop on um, Sky News any night of the week, and and some of the some of the presenters use um, uh, the 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 personal collective pronoun, you know, we to talk about the Liberal Party. Yeah. Um, as as they're presenting, they're talking about we should do this. Um, it's uh, but it's a constant mouthpiece advising the party which way to go, and um, and and you know, I think you know, Malcolm Turnbull's been very open and strident about the terrorists on the right of the party that will blow it up, uh, even if. But does, when, isn't the solution to that to empower the moderates? Like, I mean, how do you, how do you like in well, what way was um, Zimmerman not empowered? Right. Um, uh, you've got. I mean, you've. I mean, th- the, think the about, reality think is, about Katie. Just th- 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 for a second, think about Katie Allen. Right, um, was a pediatrician, and she voted to perpetuate kids on the roo, and she voted against the Medivac bill um, on on two occasions uh, uh, for the Medivac bill. She voted to 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 get rid of the Medivac. Uh, you know, so you've got you've got people who don't have the strength to say, I am going to do what's right uh, because they're part of this Faustian pact. So, um, no, I don't think, uh, well, you've got this constant push on one side, uh, pushing the Liberal Party further and further to the right. And at some point, logic will push them. They they will realise it's, the way I see it, they either move back towards the centre or they die, right. and that's not my choice. Right. So they you, they base and look. Maybe what you've done is uh, you know embolden the next generation of centre right moderates to wield more power internally. I mean, my the reason I'm pushing on this is because my reticence is we don't know what's happening inside cabinet. We don't know what is being pushed on and what they almost get across the line, but then can't do it because they have to do some factional <laughs> deal about something else. Right. We it's don't not, know. It's not like, that hard to find a. Uh, yeah, I mean, I know a lot of these people. Yeah. I know, I know a lot of these people. I mean, I've been a journalist, and yeah. I, even in my personal yeah. life, I know that Josh Frydenberg is a good person, and I know that Josh Frydenberg is a smart person. I know that that you know, I will. There are a lot of people who I would much rather see. Like, I would much rather Josh Frydenberg be prime minister than Scott Morrison be prime minister. I would much rather Josh Frydenberg yeah. be prime minister than but, Peter Dutton be prime minister. Yeah. Now, you know, so do you? I understand that, like. Look, I think I think our, there's a lot that we don't know. I, 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 am, I think I am our democracy ignorant is, about what what they were pushing for and whether or not they deserve. I to I think be our democracy is much healthier now than it was in the previous uh, terms of government. That we uh, I, the 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 cross bench. So it's funny, people people often say, "Oh, the cross bench they've got they've got no power." Um, you know what what are they even doing there? They've 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 got way more power at the moment than the opposition has. The the opposition hasn't made a constructive amendment to a bill the, um, yet this term. Hmm. Um, they've only taken oppositional stances on everything. They haven't moved the policy, you know, any agenda forward at all in this entire period. It's hard to remember the last time that they did. No, um, well, well got, I mean, you're saying what happens when you're just left with right wing ideologues in the party? Yeah, well, i i would I would blame News Corp for that, not me. Um. Uh, yeah, and and certainly, you know, we think. It's, I wanted to take you back to this the survivor bias. We you know, there are about thirty communities around the country that chose uh, a, a representative for the twenty twenty two election. We identified twenty three of them as being um, uh, campaigns that had what it took to make an impact, um, and and. We, go into that but basically it's not about it's not so much about the candidate it's about the people around the candidate about the people the the social capital they have in the community the ability they have to organize events that people actually turn up to to um i i, I heard um uh tony windsor give give uh, an offhand comment once that people approach him all the time saying that they want to be an independent and he would say, great, we'll get, organize a town hall and with a hundred people who each pledge a thousand dollars to you. 
And people go, <laughs> oh, there's no way I could do that. It's like, well, I'm sorry. There's no way you could be an, imp- you could be an independent. Right. You have to have the social capital to get yeah. people to put, to give you their time and, uh, and significant money in order to, to run these campaigns. Um, and that- Well, they don't need significant money if they've got the help of your organization. We wouldn't. We didn't help any organ. Well, I'd say there was there was one community that we gave a lot of help to. We um, uh, great candidate in the seat of Paige, which is um, uh, she lives in Lismore. And when we first talked to her, um, I think when I first talked to her, she was literally in a boat uh, on her way to save oh. some locals. And she said, "I cannot ask my neighbours for money for something as frivolous as an election campaign." I'm sorry. Um, if if I'm going to do this, I'm going to need help from outside the electorate. We went, yeah, that that's fair enough. And that's that's. I mean, the National Party ran a huge campaign in in Page uh, and won, and none of that money came from within the electorate. No, of course. Um, so, uh, but with with the exception of that, the vast majority of money in the movement came was 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 raised. Yeah, we we said to a lot of campaigns, we'll match you dollar for dollar. Uh, in the early stages of your campaign, um, and once they were up and going, they didn't need us anymore. So yeah. we weren't the money bags for it, but we certainly gave a lot of communities um, confidence that they could go out. And by matching and leveraging, um, you give people you, you, confidence is such a thing. The, the, these the, par- the, the the parties run pretty lackluster campaigns in most seats. They have pretty low access to skills. Um, uh, the, you know, they're not very sophisticated. Communities generally just need confidence to run, and you know some some amount of money. And 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 we in in general, I put put aside page. We said to communities, you've got to be able to raise some of your own money. If you don't, if you it, again that Tony Windsor example, if you can't get a hundred people in a room to give you a thousand bucks, then you're not someone the community is going to. You're not going to get a hundred thousand. Well, you're not going to yeah. get fifty thousand votes. 